Guys, I just had an idea. Um, I could use this type of system, like actually buy an, an extra one of these to be Adam's head. So this part would just go into like his top vertebrae and then I could have a motor control like turning it and then um, he'd be able to like bend way down to look at things close and then he could lift his head up high if he needs to like look like because he's not going to have abs or lower back it's just an arm and a torso he'll need the head to be able to move like in any direction to be able to get a good look at things so he can see what he's doing when he's using his hand his one arm so I think that 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 would be a shortcut I wouldn't have to make the stick which is his neck which I've decided um, I could just use one of those and mount motors on it and stuff so that would be a huge time saver so yeah I think I'm gonna have to buy one of those just as a temporary head obviously it's temporary but it's, it's it would be very nice I think it's pretty much exactly what I need oh I just realized so check this out I was thinking like man that sounds like a lot of work then to rig one of these with motors and everything but I don't have to all I have to do is mount one of these lamp arms to Adam's upper, like, the top of his torso, his upper vertebrae. Mount it there. And then, that's it. Mount the webcams on it. I'll probably remove this thing. Just mount the webcams right on this part. Mount the two webcams so he'll have stereoscopic vision. And then Adam himself can take his arm and grab it and move it so he'll be able to point where his eyes are that way I don't have to set up any type of motors on this thing he'll be able to feel for it and actually feel it because he'll have pressure sensors on his fingertips so like he can't see what he's doing if the camera's like looking off that way so if he wants to move where the camera's facing he'll like reach feel the pull follow it so he'll be like, he'll be like, start at the base, feel up, follow it, and then get to the front, and then he'll be able to move things around so he can move where he's looking at. And he can even remember where he positioned it, and so when he lets go, maybe he'd actually remember exactly where in three-dimensional space, because he can have a memory of that, and then he can just reach up and grab it. So after he sets it the first time, he'll remember, and he can just move it around. So that way I don't have to, like, actuate this part which is Adam's temporary neck and eyes like his head Adam will do that himself using his arm so I still don't have like I don't have to increase the complexity of the project to get Adam to the point where he can actually start doing things and making things that just simplified it a lot because now I don't have to create motors and everything and build this thing out into the sophisticated whatever so that saves a lot of time that was a huge improvement right there. So that's how I'll do it. That's how I'll have his head and neck. Until he can build a proper skull and finish the spine and build his own neck and create a proper head for himself. But I think that that type of head is actually better than a human head. Because if I want with my head to inspect my lower back and like do a surgical procedure on it. I can't do that. Like like my head is pretty limited cuz I can't see what I'm doing. I'd need a series of mirrors or a camera set up and I look through a computer monitor to see what I'm doing. So Adam's going to have an advantage when assembling his own body to have a head system like this. So he can really, you know, turn it around and then lower it and he can see all the way down to his lower back he can see all up inside his his torso and he can really get in there and get a good look by being able to position this thing can get him to position it anywhere so that's going to be an excellent tool 
Adam can use to get a good view and be able to see what he's doing anywhere on his body.